Now, like I said, this is Everthorpe, and there are the lions on the gates. Uh, and I'm here with Live Free today and Society X. And this. This is the Borstal, Everfort Borstal. And there, smack in front of you, is the old gatehouse. Yes, I came through these gates in 1979 uh, and uh, that's when they took my son off me and uh, had him adopted and because I weren't married they said I had no legal rights and here we are Ever thought it's main gates Right, if we just stand here a second and I'll describe as you went through the gates that was the old gatehouse gates not this one, that one now as you went through them gates to your left hand side immediately as you got through the gate was the visiting room to the right was the reception directly in front of you are the units two room parallel with this wall up top here and go that way and two on the bottom go that way with a big corridor we call it the M1 Arford. What did you call it back in your day? They called it M1. I've made a cock up of my video again. And M M1 cut, uh, joined them up. And off the M1 was the uh, dining rooms, education, and uh, the exercise yards were down by the old wall over there. Prison visits. Yeah, look, it says prison visits on it. And as you can see, scruffy little room. Scruffy little room. Yeah, this is old Boston. Ever thought Boston? Now, in 79, when we came, I used to come out of these gates every morning and I worked on the dairy, the Borsal dairy. I uh, milked the cows twice a day and as I said, they used to let me out of the gate, I'd come down here, milk the cows, go back and my meal would be saved for me at kitchens. Then we, milk, so he eat it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and uh, down this way where we're going now is down to the old farm and uh, the screws houses. Uh, the, the, the old farm is still there, and uh, And down this way, round here, is where the suspect little dwarf that attacked Lift Free and tried to snatch his phone off him lives down here. Uh, he actually uh, shouted at his missus for talking to me. Uh, And as you can see, all these was uh, the staff houses. Uh, and uh, as I say, I'm here today, we live free. Society X, who's got his eye on his backs. Uh,
Now, round this way, and as you can see, the wall continues that way. So yeah, I think what we're coming on to now, guys, is a house estate. Yes. Yes, the screws still live on here, but they have sold some of houses to private people. They do it quite regular, don't they, mate? Prisons are well. Yes. Is that for in case of any emergencies? Why are they all like that? Yes. Uh, Everthorpe never had a riot, uh, but I have been in riots. Uh, atmosphere is electric, and it's very, very scary. I've been involved in two or three riots. Preston, Wynemott. Now. Uh, as you can see, Liffrey is doing his bit. As you can see, Liffrey's got a captor, an officer, oh, I think he said he wanted an officer, but, and uh, we're not far from the farm now. Now if I'd just like to say Liffrey about the next house up where the skip is yeah. is where I saw the chap that I believe to be the poisoned dwarf Okay uh, His wife was quite willing to talk to me Okay, yeah And tell me about this stately home that we're just coming up to sit to in front of us right, okay I asked her about it being derelict and that so, And she said roof had fell in Arthur saying that um, he went to, he, he would, when he were auditing, he spoke to the poison dwarf's wife. She tried dragging him in, inside, tried dragging him upstairs, and getting her end away with him. Arthur said, <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't cope. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see, this is a nice big stately home in front of you that the borsal has let go, derelict. We are just waiting for one of our members to catch up. Liffrey's gone back to see where he is. Uh, I think he's got caught up with somebody. Liffrey on his mission there, look. Yes, he's caught him up. And as you can see, Liffrey's gone to a 
sister friend. Uh, and uh, he'll be coming back down. And as I say, there, over there by that van, is where the poison little dwarf lived. Uh, if I stand here, he might come out. They were very, very gobby. And uh, I don't know what's happening, but Liv Free is walking away. So, I don't know what's happening, so I'll have to go back this way. I think he might have got an interview off a screw or something. Uh, like I say, all these houses here are screws houses from prison, which is now HMP Humber. And as you can see, Live Free has got another captive audience. Uh, he'll fill me in what's what when he comes back down. I'm not going to go crowd him. Well, this looks like I could uh, jump in on some of it here. He's got this screw, willing to film and let him film him. I'm just trying to sneak up and get him on. I worked on dairy down here. And, um, I milked the cows every. You know down there, it's, it's, I'm going back to 1979 now. Oh, and uh, I, I worked on. You, you, you I worked on dairy, and I can tell you that even old cow shed is still up. Yeah. Yeah, it's a roof's falling in, isn't it? Yeah. He's entitled to tell his story, isn't he? Oh, yeah. I mean, is he entitled to tell his story? Is he entitled That's to go around meant, and some, I think sometimes people can be a bit intimidated by camera. Um, but it's there for a number of reasons to document things as well as our protection. Hold everybody in the situation accountable. Example now, you know, if somebody starts playing up or whatever, you say that happened, he says that happened, the camera don't lie. You know what I mean? But we're, we're definitely not out to offend nobody, mate. We're just telling our stories. We're just heading down to this old um, building now. To old farm, just right corner by Manor House. Yeah, it's, well, it's still there. It's still there. There's some good footage there. But we'll not cause you no hassle, mate. We'll carry on another journey. God bless you and have a nice day, all right? All right, thanks very much. No, at the end of it, you seem like a really chilled out guy. No, it's thank you, T. But, no, but what you've got to remember is there's probably 5% we do we do we do just so sort of walk through and don't sp film anybody specific yeah. unless they talk to us do you know what i mean he knows a lot of history about the place do you know what i mean so, so why are you filming in the first place then well we're here filming doing documentaries you can film anybody in a public yeah. place mate yeah. that's the law because we can um, we, we work within the law. We, we act within the boundaries of the law. Me. Pardon? I can't, well I am. Well you're against the law then, isn't it? It's not against the law, what law? <laughs> well then Mr Lawman, what law? Ring police. What law? Come on then, you're caught in law. Tell us what law I'm breaking. Well for starters, isn't it? It's 
Let me just tell you something, mate. I don't know, I don't. You're on. We are this is entitled. I now. I'm going to educate you now. In a public place, I don't need your permission to film you. Right? It's a public place. No, it's a public place, mate. It's guaranteed a public place. This, you want to bet me 50 and anything we can see. Bet me 50 quid that this path is not a public path. Well, all right, this public so how does, how does the postman? Can the public access How does the postman? Can the public so this is a private, access private access then? This, this, this path. Who owns this path then? He owns it. He owns this path. Yeah. I highly doubt that. I highly doubt that. What, what do you think about that? Well, are, are, you, are you trespassing us off this path? I think, you're, I think you're stupid in what you're up to tell me the truth. Pardon? You're stupid in what you're up to tell me the truth. You think I'm stupid? Yeah. You think We're I'm exposed. Stupid? Corruption. You think I'm stupid? Yeah. You know how highly insulting that is? You look like a fucking slob, pal. You look like a slob, like you just rolled out your bed. No, but you started an insult, mate. You started with insults. You're one that started with insults and thought you could get away with it. But it's not. That's not how it works. We expose corrupt, corrupt screws. I know, mate. But I'm just explaining, because you were all right, mate. See, he knows he's all right. Come on, come round here. See you later. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. That was a very nice interaction. Very nice interaction there. Uh, one officer was a gentleman, and the other one started straight away with insults. Yeah, he called it free, stupid. And we wasn't having that. <laughs> now, as we say, just round this corner. Like I say, Liffrey. This manor house we're going round here was the Borstal's like, the, what can I say, like the pub out. So is this where the farm or around here then? Yes, yeah, just next to this place here. Right next to this. It's still all as pretty as a picture. In fact, there was a squirrel running on the road while I were walking up road last time and if you look up the road just to your right uh, that goes back round to prison uh, I haven't been up it so I'm not sure how far you can get up might be just at back at houses now this was their clubhouse that's what I was trying to think of the officer's clubhouse. They come down here and have a few jars, have a meal, and such like. And uh, since it closed as a hostel, this manor house has not been open since. And uh, some of the locals told me last time that. Uh, the roof is falling in. Uh, I could, I, I like all turrets and everything on top of it, me. Yes. <laughs> I, I wouldn't even mind squatting in it. Oh, I wouldn't as well. Come to it. We'll move in here. <laughs> We're bringing kids though. We're kids. <laughs> I think she'd let you take them. <laughs> yeah, she would, yeah. And fetch them back when they're good. <laughs>
Yeah, this is all part of the old manor house. And just around this corner here, where this sign is, HMP Humber. Prison property, but it's got um, open access. Yes. It's got open access. One office property, yeah. So as you know, me and the three, I walk. Oh, and other gates open. That's brilliant, brilliant. Oh, it's like coming home. <laughs> the big, biggest building there, in front of the barn, that what cow shed. All the other buildings. No, just the farm. Uh, as I say, I worked on dairy. I milked the cows twice a day. So guys, this is the farm for the prison, the prison farm. But as you can see, That's home office sheep that they keep rare breeds as well. And uh, all the cow fields were over the back, over the back that way. What do they keep rare breeds for? I think they just keep them for fancy now. Now, these buildings here are exactly the same when I was here in 1976. Wow, I can't believe this. Uh, I'm excited. Now, cows, when they're coming in to milk, they come in in exactly the same order. And they all have numbers stamped on them. And the officer used to bet me which ones would come in next, in what order. And I never believed him. So I took his bets all the time. Warning. <laughs> Warning. And as you can see, this here and here are still offices. The building right on the end is where all the milk used to come in. Uh, what milk? Yeah, all the milk used to come in. From with milk coming dairy up just the other side. Uh, and the big container that contained milk when she would milk the cows used to be in that shed. This shed here. We'll get for young bullocks and things like that. Yes, I've walked in here many a time. Right into these back sheds here. Wow. Same. We used to go out and up that way up to the fields. Up that way up to the fields, up backs. Uh, just open the gates and the cows would walk in and they'd walk straight into this shed. No. They used to walk straight into this shed, but they've changed layout in it. So we're in a shed now, me and Arthur, um, in wow. the prison grounds. And then there was an opening at the far end, at the far end here, and the cows had moving into the building, smack in front opposite there, where we had the milking parlour. Uh, these were other cow sheds for like younger bullocks and things like that but they were mainly dairy cows if we go around this way here all this was connected and that doorway there is where cows had come out of this shed and wander in there into the milking parlour and this was the milking parlour this wasn't here. Wow. I can't believe old buildings are still up, even the same cow shed. That's amazing, that. And as I say, we, we could walk up that part, up, up there, up to the fields, open the gates for cows, and they'd head back here themselves to be milked. Right back, as you can see over there, is where they keep pigs. <laughs> wow, I couldn't get in here last time I come, so I'm buzzing. And as I say, this building here, this end, door's closed, so I'm not going to go in. And this is where we used to come in. Somebody shouting in there. And uh, uh, 
to your right in there is where milk thing was where all milk went in this is what screws off this here we used to have to sit in his breaks Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>